Why hello there, and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross, and today I review... Sensor. <laughs> this is a... Uh, so this is uh, written by Prano Bailey Bond and Anthony Fletcher, directed by Prano Bailey Bond. Starring, I'm going to butcher the names here, so do excuse that. Uh, Namina Ilga or something, Nicholas Burns, Vincent Franklin, Sophie Laporta, uh, Adrian Skiller, and Michael Smiley. So, this is a psychological um, horror drama. Uh, it's a British film following a young, set in 1985 during the video Nasties era. Uh, um, following a young woman named Enid, uh, Enid Baines, who works for the BBFC or British Board of Film Classification, basically the place that decides all the UK ratings in the UK, and her job is to watch films and decide if they are, if they what their certificate should be, and basically what you know if they're acceptable for release or should be banned and she watches a lot of exploitation films that usually get banned and eventually she um, you know her place of work make an error she receives death threats she's also her sister is also missing and she's looking for her and she believes that in one film she's observing she believes that her sister is in this film and that she has been kidnapped and forced to do an exploitation film so she goes down the rabbit hole and investigates all this by herself as no one will help her not even her, even her parents are convinced that her sister is dead and yeah it gets it gets way more bizarre as the film goes on so that's what i will tell you about the story so this film is about um, 84 minutes long so just under an hour and a half so what did I like well I like that this took place in a place where uh, we see how films are rated and stuff and you know what goes on in the BBFC and I mean that must be a cool job getting to watch films and deciding their certificate I mean it can't be pleasant watching a lot of exploitation films I think I need mean, you know deciding the certificate I mean because like I say some banned films are difficult to watch um, but I like the whole premise of this uh, of, of this film and the 80s feel of it as well I liked our lead actress in this who did a great job playing her character I also like some of the supporting characters I even recognized a few faces in this that are like big British actors and I also you know I also like the dark tone as well in this one and the vintage feel and style of it um, and the score and the cinematography um, but then there are my dislikes now the final act was confusing I was thinking what's going on here is this real you know, is she you know, it gets confusing but then you realize oh this is all like in her mind and what have you so so the final act is a bit confusing along with the ending that's a bit confusing and a bit bizarre and odd I also thought it was the ending to it was a bit abrupt but it was all right I guess but I guess it is my kind of film I just got to be in the mood to watch it and like I say it's 84 minutes long so not a long film at all and it's British I believe it came out in January 2021 at the Sundance Festival and was released well at least in the UK and probably internationally on August 20th 2021 and I just recently watched this as well so yeah um, but I'd say it definitely went under the radar but it's an alright film you know it's it's okay but you know just be prepared for some bizarreness in there and some graphic scenes because there are some scenes 
that are graphic when they're watching the films and it does get quite graphic as I say like I said this is a film you know where it follows a BBFC worker who watches a lot of these exploitation films uh, and I kind of like like I said I like the premise I, I don't ever recall a, f a movie where I've seen you know, like it like how I said how it's set and everything so uh, what am I gonna rate this one um I thought it was okay, but I, I'd say this isn't for everyone. This is a very, this is actually a British film as well, so some people overseas might get the slang in it and that, I don't know, but yeah. So I will give this, I'll, I'll give it, you know what, I'll give it three stabs out of five. Three stabs out of five for Census. So have you seen this one? Let me know all that down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and to feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. You know, it's your choice at the end of the day, but it means a deal to me if you did. But like I say, your choice if you're new here and that. So all my social media links, Facebook group, Twitter, Instagram are all linked down below too. So yeah, I've been Random Ross. This has been a revolting review on Census, so until next time, don't have nightmares.